As you all know, DNA replication is the process by which cells duplicate their genetic information prior to division. But what if replication was incomplete? Could under-replication lead to genetic changes that cause cancer? To answer this important question, my thesis work has utilized a unique mutant mouse model called Chaos 3 that's depicted in number one. So the blue lines represent DNA, while origins, the points at which replication begins, are determined by the binding of MCM protein complexes, the double red rings. So as you can see, Chaos 3 mice have a greatly reduced number of potential origins. But because origins exist in such a great excess, replication can still proceed and the mice are born healthy. Later, however, all Chaos 3 mice go on to develop tumors, suggesting that excess origins play a very important role. So to investigate what was really going on here, I examined cells from these mice by fluorescent microscopy, which is shown in number two. So this is a Chaos 3 cell that has already gone through replication and has entered M phase to prepare for cell division. So I was, I was surprised to find that they contained a high number of foci for the FANCT2 protein, a key member of the FA pathway. This got us really interested because humans that are missing this FA pathway have a disease called Fanconi anemia. So for unknown reasons, missing this pathway causes their chromosomes to break, which leads to both anemia and cancer. So what is FANCT2 doing in Chaos 3 cells? So the surprising answer to this came when an EDU labeling experiment revealed that DNA replication was still going on right at these FANCT2 sites in M phase, super late replication. So this led us to form a new hypothesis that long stretches of DNA that are lacking origins cannot finish replicating until extremely late. And they look to the FA pathway to help them finish. So to test this, I took out the FA pathway from Chaos 3 cells by generating double mutant mice. Using a novel technique shown in number three, I found that this led to even more super late replicating regions that could not even finish on time. And this caused chromosomes to break. This correlated with even faster cancer progression in the double mutant mice. So together, these findings suggest that under replication is a significant driver of cancer. And they also suggest why FA patients are actually cancer prone. Thank you.